Hamish. Home design this morning. Everyone's made Hamish is here to tell us how we can all redesign the lighting in our homes to suit our needs without the cost of an electrician, which we love, saving you money. Morning, Hamish. Good morning, team. Mike, Mel, different Mel. Yes. How are you? I'm great. I do quite like having an electrician in the house, though. Do you? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, let's look at DIY. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so, so I was in at Lighting Plus and uh, just having a chat, seeing what was new, um, you know, out and about in the store, as I like to do. And they said, have you seen our DIY lighting range? I'm like, really? DIY lighting, you say? And they went, yes, let's have a look. And uh, so, without further ado, we'll have a little... That is to announce the incredible contraption that you have. I know. What on they earth helped me out solidly here, yeah, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's oh, that's awesome. awesome. What is that? What is it for? It's our little contraption. Well, it's, it's our little light demonstration box. So what we've got right here, this is a batten holder. Right. Standard batten holder. The cheapest thing you can get that runs through houses. You know, we often see them in toilets and hallways and above kitchens, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? Oh, very common in New Zealand, aren't they? They, yes. they are. And um, sadly, um, quite often they're <laughs> in conjunction with this fine specimen of a fitting. <laughs> Uh, I can't describe these in, you know, morning language. So uh, we're just going to axe it. I'm going to throw it, Mike. Okay, good. Look at that. Sweet. Oh, oh, thank you, Mark. Yeah, nice okay. little catch. Okay, so what they have come up with, which is very, very clever, is yes. a way of dressing up these fittings by yourself. Right, okay? without having to call in the electrician. Without having to call in the electrician. How? How? Thank you for asking, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to get the sample. Okay, there are three of them, and they come in three different lengths, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's these two, and because I don't have a third arm, there's this one. Right, right okay. I'm going to now demonstrate quite deftly how this works for you. Okay, nice. So, as we know, that is how a bayonet fitting yes. plugs in. Yes, yes. We reach up. Oh, my little tippy to semi tippy toes. So just when you in. normally put in your light. Yeah, so you normally put the lamp in there. Right. And one would slide that up there, and then we run... This little contraption up here. I'll just and, screw that you know, into place. And bang, there we go. Brilliant. Do you like that, Mike? I do. That is really awesome. Yeah. Oh, would you like me to put a lamp in the bottom of it quickly yeah, to show I'd you that it actually that. works? You know, this is not trickery. There you go. Oh, okay, good. You're right. Mm. I'm going to turn that off because it's a little glary. Yeah. Okay, I like that. That's so easy. Okay, so you've shown us the options. I've shown you how that rolls. Now, what you do have an option of is different kinds of shades. Now, all standard shades will attach. Right. See how we have these sort of pieces here? Yeah. Okay, yep. so to put one up, you unscrew this piece normally and slide it up, put it on. If you want to use something like a more of an industrial kind of fitting, like we've got up here, it can be flush mounted or you can mount it onto a pendant like this. Okay. So you can cool. have as a drop light. You, you know I'm quiet here because DIY and woman of the house does not go together. <laughs> but I can do this. <laughs> oh, good. So anyone can do this. No, well, that's a, that's a very good point. <laughs> okay, so this light shade here, I'm imagining that over your dinner table. That's mm. exactly right. So that's perfect for your dining table. Allow me to now show you, Mike, how one would have. Jeez, you're working hard today, oh, mate. I am, you know. Actually, I should work probably a little bit harder because we'll get the word in a second, won't we? As I take my time. <laughs> okay, so this merrily. is how easy it is. This is how easy it is. I can do it, you can do it. It's straightforward. On it goes. Winds back up. Try not to cross the thread. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. But I actually know. I like that. That's looking cool and now. And then we're going to pop this in here. Yep. Um, Turn it on, turn it, it on. on. Right. Nice. Yes. Okay. So cool. this is, th this is going to give you more of a feature light, and we love it. It's got the little cutouts in the fabric, so yep. it lets some of the light through. Perfect for the dining room. And talk to me about fabrics. Okay, F fabric shades. I probably prefer fabric shades myself. I've always liked them. You can get a range of colours and patterns at the rotating rounds. are quite fun, <laughs> isn't it? So over here we have green line, which Mike likes, because Mike yes. likes a little pop of colour. But it allows you to be a little bit more individual. <laughs> Come, come, come this way a little yeah. bit. We'll come around the end. Yeah. No, no one can oh, see hello. me. It's the best TV show I've ever done because you can't see my face. Sorry, Mel. What about the white? Uh, what about the white thing here? Okay, it's... they're just a separate array of um, of fabric shades you can get. So what they allow you to do is get variances in texture. If you want the minimalist look, or if you want to add some colour, it's really straightforward. Okay, pop a colour, and now we've got some LED. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to now I'm going to work for my money. Yeah. What is? I, I've seen these before. <laughs> okay, so that is what one might see over your kitchen bench area. Now, should you be unlucky and simply have a small batten holder mm -hmm. like this? We can fix this. No way. Yes, we're going to convert one into three. Brilliant. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to do it for you right now. Well, everyone needs a little bit Live of Live on in national the television, we remove this. Yes. I'm warning you, I have actually done this before, so when I look like I know what I'm doing, 
That's the reason for it. Up goes this. So that makes and the top part look pretty. Yes, yeah, so yep. that covers up the old school bat and holder look. Yep. yep. Then we acquire this piece and we put this back on. Yep. It holds it in place. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. I love it when I get treasure to play with. And then we get to plug it in once again, Mike. You'll see it's just like the other. Oh, cracky uh -oh, Dickens. Oh, you could have electrocuted yourself there. No, not at all, Mel. Is this... Well, that's probably not quite true, but nonetheless. <laughs> just make sure it's turned off at home when you do this. And then this goes up, and I'm not going to bother screwing it up because right. that would be just awkward for me. Well, I get the idea. And it goes up, and so you've got one into three. Yeah, that's Very brilliant. Cool. A no. simple way of getting three lights. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so the other sense. thing to remember, of course, is LED lamps. Yes. We talked about them a few weeks yep. ago. Long life. Let that hang down. Remember the keys to them. Cheaper to run, they don't yes. blow, they last a heck of a lot longer. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. they're warm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> so they're warm okay. and cuddly. <laughs> warm and cuddly. The catch with them is they don't get hot, so they're a lot safer as well. Okay? Hamish, you light up my life. Oh, brilliant. You're good. Nice. I can't believe we got through all that. that was, <laughs> I was so panicking about having to turn on lights and wire things up, you know. <laughs> you did really well, thank you so much, Hamish. That is a really good idea, and the options seem endless. And it's great to know how easy it is to do, and of course you can do it all at home. For more details, go to lightingplus.co.nz. You'll be doing it this week. Weekend.